I'm Mike Inero. I'm the Director of Public Safety for the City of Jacksonville. I'd like to thank you for taking some time to look at this video. I think it's really important that, uh, that we recruit the right people for the right jobs in, the, in our police department. So take some time, get to learn about our police department. Listen to the folks that work there, come down and see us. We're going to encourage you to become a member of our team. Our concept is to develop leaders from the very first day they come in the door because those are the folks that are going to take over when we're gone. So why not start at the very beginning, make sure they have everything they need through their entire career so they can take care of the folks out there just like we did. Our agency is comprised of six platoons. On those platoons there are one lieutenant, one sergeant, and anywhere from seven to nine officers. Those officers are responsible for the day-to-day -day patrol activities throughout the city of Jacksonville. So that's taking reports, investigating uh, minor crime, uh, motor vehicle crashes, really anything that a citizen may pick up the phone and call 911 about. The Criminal Investigative Division is a part of the Jacksonville Police Department that follows up on crimes that are initially responded to by our patrol division. We talk to victims, we interview suspects, obtain charges um, in any criminal matters. The Criminal Investigative Division is encompassed by three uh, different types of detectives. We have general assignment detectives which investigate adult crimes. We have juvenile detectives and they'll investigate any crime in which a juvenile is either you know, a victim or a suspect. And then we have uh, drug investigators and they focus on drug crimes in our community. Traffic enforcement is one part of, uh, of trying to keep our citizens safe. There's three parts. Uh, there's the education, there's the engineering, and there's the enforcement. In the Jacksonville Police Department Traffic Division, uh, we enforce all motor vehicle laws. We investigate crashes, fatalities. I myself am a reconstructionist, so we uh, put crashes back together. If you have a love for that, and you have a love for solving puzzles, and and uh, doing math and things like that. And looking at things from a scientific perspective, well, traffic crash investigation is the way to go. I'm also a motor officer, and I enforce all traffic laws. Using a motor unit, it's a lot easier to get around the city. Utilizing that, you see a little bit more. And uh, believe it or not, since we've got the motors, a lot of people want to stop and talk to you, talk about the motorcycle, which gives you an opportunity to interact with people. And then you can show them the lighter side of police work. Police Department's tactical team commander. We certainly have much more advanced weapon systems than the patrol officer does. Ballistic gear, you know, we have an armored rescue vehicle that we utilize to deliver our uh, team to a specific area. So we have a lot of things to help um, us do our job and to do it safely. I'm assigned to the Community Services Division and that's sort of like a big umbrella. We have the school resource officers housed with us, we have the community officers housed with us, and we also have the DARE and GRADE officers um, within that division as well. So it's a great division, we, we work well together and we go out and do a lot of meet and greet with the community. Well with our division we mainly work closely with the community, with the um, businesses, with the people in the city of Jacksonville, the citizens of Jacksonville. So one of the things I enjoy about the community services is that we participate in the National Walk to School Day. And we get out there, we meet at one of the local schools in the community, uh, we give out the kids helmets, we're the bicycles, uh, we do a bit of talking, we eat a snack before we go, and we just all group up. I usually jump on my bicycle, put my helmet on, and we just ride our bikes to school and we just have a conversation while we're going. We get out and get fresh air, you know, it's good exercise and it's really a good time so the kids really enjoy it. It's neat meeting the kids, uh, learning a little bit about them. They have some really interesting questions and it's kind of nice to know when they give me that feedback that they have used some of the skills that they've learned in the D.A.R.E. lessons, especially on how to make safe and responsible decisions. 
I enjoy being a school resource officer. Seeing them after they leave the middle school where I met um, and actually seeing them in um, the high school and then getting calls from parents and still having that rapport with the kids and realize that I made an impact on their lives, that's a, that's a big difference. We get out and talk to folks and encourage them to, you know, get involved as a community and just, just work together, you know, to make our the city of Jacksonville safer. We're trying to get all different types of people to become police officers. You have to enforce your laws. That's a no-brainer. But when you come upon people usually in our line of work, they're in some sort of crisis, and it's about leaving them better than you find them. Working for the Jackson Police Department, and this comes from the heart, I can honestly say that you work beside some of the most fantastic people that you'll ever meet in your entire life. We attract people that want to do a good job, that want to help people, and they are fantastic people. They really are. I like the camaraderie aspect of law enforcement, and I was impressed with uh, with the staff and the fellow officers I'd be working with. Everybody said that cliche of making a difference and everything, but I actually see I could make a difference in kids or in citizen lives when I make an impact with them. I like the idea of helping others. I like the idea that you're out and about and I get a chance to uh, periodically drive fast, of course, within the law. Well, I think working for the city of Jacksonville, I think what I like the most is, is the people. I really enjoy the uh, relationships I have. Um, both at the professional level and the personal level. I think it's very important that, uh, that we have a, a vision of where th what this organization will look like. And that vision is to be a very responsive police department that's responsive to the community, that's responsive to the citizens, that is actually preventing crime rather than managing crime. Putting people in jail, making arrests, enforcing the law is pretty simple. Uh, there's a protocol, there's a standard that you do to do that, but really leaving them better than you find them. It takes work, it takes time, it takes perseverance, it takes training, it takes integrity, it takes sincerity. We hire folks that have that vision of I want to prevent crime. I want to go out and make sure that this community is better than when I started. Those are the people that we're after, the people that are looking to make a community better by preventing crime rather than simply managing it. 